Well hello and welcome to Jimmerism. This is Jimmerism and you're watching Gary's Mod. We are building a little bit here as you can see. Um, I have been building on a pretty big um, airship. Actually, um, maybe it turns out to be a little bit too big than I uh, would have wanted it to be, but that doesn't matter. It's all good and fun. And we have a walkable deck here and you can see it looks pretty good. So why am I making this um, airship? Well, um, I have a Patreon page, as you might know, and EGN is a Patreon there. And before that tier was called like Duke level Patreon, so it was like Duke EGN. Um, and I just overhauled my entire Patreon page. So now it's the army of Jimodism. And if you sign up there, you are a commanding officer. Uh, please check it out if you if that would be something that's interesting for you. But in any case, Ejin is our commander. Commander Ejin. And uh, in that tier, or rather when he signed up uh, for the Duke tier, um, it was included, I'll build, I'll build something for you. And we talked a little bit over it and uh, it was like under the Duke standards. And um, he said that um, I want an airship and I want an airship in Gary's mod. And I'm like, okay, well, let's make a battle airship. And uh, I just asked some questions and he's like, I prefer a civilian. And I was like, oh, okay, a civilian airship. And I was like, civilian, civilian, civilian airship. And then I just, you know, um, how about like a trading airship that's kind of refitted Mad Max style. And um, he resonated with that idea. So I began construction. So the idea behind this airship is that uh, we have a kind of modern airship design, kind of advanced things. Uh, we have these energy beams behind uh, or between these sections that is, well, supposed to hold it together. So it's basically some kind of pretty advanced, advanced level technology. But imagine, uh, imagine that advanced level technology and add like 100 years on that, add apocalypse um, or just some kind of um, like general degradement of like everything um, and just refit it hundreds of times, add new parts, fix new parts. Um, and here in the back we can see the original like wings, the original steering fins. Uh, you know, break them off, destroy it a little bit, replace them with homemade um, wings of corrugated steel and um, stuff like that. So that is basically like the idea behind it. And I just realized I need to switch the materials for these two parts as well. Ew. I think we're gonna go with a little bit more industrial grain. Yeah, <clears throat> basically rebuild it hundreds of times and make it fit. So um, that is what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to really make that little feeling there. So we're gonna take some other kind of one there. I want like different plates. So here we have the little toilet area thing. Uh, not too glamorous, but. Uh, I imagine this uh, airship going on to long trading tours and that um, the privacy on the toilet area doesn't have to be overestimated because this will trade goods under like big instances of like wasteland anyways so you won't meet anyone so you might as well just sit here in the wind and just be like oh well. And of course, um, it's kind of built for like a kind of warm future weather. So we imagine it's like warm, but still wasteland. So we can have the bathtub outside. Um, and the uh, small crew on this ship, probably smaller than the original crew, but the ones that are here would actually basically live on here. So one of the containers are actually a uh, like, we have a little lamp there and we have a little area we can sit around there. Yeah, 
So that's basically that. Um, and I can't make a good like walk up here because I know from experience that we can't really make everything walk, but sorry, we can't really make everything walk, but in, in Garry's mod it doesn't work like that. But this is like the imaginary entrance to doo -doo -doo, uh, the bridge. And here is the bridge. It's obviously not original. It's obviously like refitted, new. And it's also a living-ish area. We can sit around a couch, probably sleep there, drink some sodas. We have like electronic equipment, a radio, um, and a little computer blinking some coordinates that we're going towards. So I suppose that even though it's kind of apocalyptic, uh, it would have some kind of automated control system. So it wouldn't actually need to be uh, human manned, but because of the new times, it kind of is. So um, now you see this airship and it is as functional as this thing moving town under repairs which means basically not functional at all and i didn't really have any incentive to finish this so this thing is basically only like looking cool uh, i made it before in a similar style uh, but uh, this thing uses like um, counter-strike props too um, for Ejin, Commander Ejin's ship. I've uh, been trying to use only um, Team Fortress 2 and Half-Life props because he doesn't have a Counter-Strike source, so I can't use those props for this one. And hopefully I haven't, but I'll of course um, check with him before we do any kind of final thing. But I imagine the kind of model of this thing is final. Um, ish i don't see anything more that i'd like to add on this thing i think it's a pretty cool airship um and in this little video i would like to just tell you how to make a big airship like this because obviously now this is just a bunch of like props that are just stuck together in a nice pattern and how can we make this be a functional airship and not lag too much because it's a lot of props and we need to be smart so, because a lot of people are making pretty big, I, I've seen some, you know, pretty cool but big airships on the workshop. And they're just made in a way that just causes unnecessarily big amounts of lag. They're just lagging to hell. And I'm just going to show you here how we can make this move and not lag. So, we go into menu, we're gonna find a base plate of some kind, and we're going to select the thing that's basically like large enough for this thing and on this base plate we are going to try and uh, well basically put everything or like constrain everything and if you don't want your airship to be walkable like this now this we can actually walk around on and i think that Ejin would like this airship to be like the main parts of it be walkable so i'll um I'm going to make this thing walkable for our commander, but all the parts that doesn't necessarily have to be walkable, like we don't have, this table doesn't have to be like collidable and stuff like that. Uh, so everything that doesn't have to have a collision, we're going to make it be instead uh, parented. Because that will cause so much more uh, or so much less lag. In any case, um, to begin with, we need to make this thing a little bit like commandable. So let's see here. Resistance, kind of high strength. We're going to make this hoverball thing. We're going to make this um, flying by help of hoverballs. So four of them should be enough. Or actually like three. And hopefully that is like good enough. We're going to do like this. And uh, we need a weight stool. And we're going to do like a pretty high, pretty high weight. 
this is going to be the weight of the like 30,000, you know. So how heavy is this thing? Well, let's make it three. Let's double the strength. So hoverbolts, the strength is scaling with its weight. So I'm going to make these heavier, which will make them stronger. And I hope we can mount the entire airship on this thing, right. Then we also need some kind of control. And uh, we're going to we're going to use thrusters for this thing. We're going to have dropship effect. We're going to use toggle for forwards and backwards. And they're not gonna be like very strong for what we are actually doing here. So there we have the mill here. Okay. Yeah, you know, Gary's mod maps are small. So I want it to not be too fast. So we can just grac uh, graciously cruise forwards. Because this is obviously not something we want to like move around in fast. Um, I will increase it a little bit because I thought it was a tad bit slow. I think that's good. Then we have the toggle. Turn that off. So, forwards and reverse. Um, we should do some turning thrusters next. And we're just gonna have them in the corners like this. Like outer edges. And that's obviously too strong. So we're gonna half the strengths of these. That's probably good. Yeah, I like that. So now back to the like horribles. Um, page up and page down is the horribles. They're moving pretty quickly, but that can be good too. We don't want them toggling, we basically want it to be the same level anyways. So if we need to move out an obstacle, we can use the magicness of the hovering things. Because this is obviously not a lighter than airship, it uses some kind of future magic to fly. As I'm sure you can guess. So, how can we transfer this entire big ship to this tiny little plate? Well, of course we can't. But we can position it in a way uh, that would make sense. And we are going to make this part invisible, of course. So we're going to right click no collide, just make it no collide everything. We are going to go to wire just in order to get a gate we can kind of ish hide it here a little bit in the front because we, like we want it to be we don't want to make it we don't need to hide it but we need it to be there and that's only to parent stuff too right so first of all we are going to need to make some constraints because now we have this piece locked in there so our airship would be like pretty functional we just want it to be attached to this little base plate here all the props that need to have a collision or need to be walkable will of course need to be welded and all the rest of the props will need to be um, just parented. So the easiest way is, let's see, should we weld things first or should we parent things first? I think we're going to um, weld whatever we want to weld first. So for example, these four pieces, 
they need to be walkable. But one thing we want to do before we do any of that, and that is to set a weight on all of the things that we are going to um, like weld, because we're going to weld everything to the heavy base plate. And the heavier this thing is, the sturdier the weld will be. And this weld needs to be heavy enough to support us, but not heavy enough to pose any type of like instability issue. So we are going to make all the walkable props have a weight of uh, 2000. And same with the railings. Uh, we are not going to have all the railings be actual railings. We're only going to have the railings that actually matter be um, railings because, you know, we don't want more welds than necessary. Doing that will just lag stuff. And now we accidentally hit the wrong prop, so we're gonna well, we're gonna hit it later up. Okay, that's the walkable. Bam, 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 bam. You need to be a walkable thing. You, you, and you. And this container. And the reason why we can't, or uh, like this entire piece is walkable, so we don't need to make anything, any of the other ones walkable, except this container, because we want to be inside of it, right? Uh, so that, those ones doesn't have to be, okay. This one, and probably, okay. We need to have some kind of corners on this thing. So we'll take the sides of this thing. And we're gonna weld them up. And that will make us be able to stay inside of that container. Very nice. And if we for like actually we don't if we for some reason would want to stand on the roof of this thing, we can make it. We can make it so. Right, so have I forgotten any part that we'll actually walk on that um, we have forgotten to make walkable? Not, I don't think so. So we're going to turn back the original weight on that thing. And we should now be able to weld away. So I'm basically going to weld every prop that we're going to walk on. Make sure the force limit is zero. Just once to the base plate. Once to the base plate for any of them. So I'll be back when I've done that. All right, so I welded all the parts that I believe um, will actually, well, need. So now we come to the weird part, multi-parenting. So it's a good time to do, get your advanced duplicator, do an area copy and save it. I've already done that. But now we are going to do a little bit of a, uh, well, multi-parenting. So uh, bring your multi-parenting tool and here we're gonna set. Remove constraints, make sure that's checked. Um, disable collisions, make sure that's checked. And also check set weight. Uh, disable shadows or not or up to you and then we're just going to make a big um, auto select radius I'm not remembering how large it will need to be yeah so uh, right thousand so we need to we need to actually select thousand okay several there so now we need to remember what props need to be walkable what props um well i think i forgot I, f I think i forgot to well this container let's hear this container to the base plate let's hear there okay let's bring the parenting tool there again so this thing this container of course i want to be walkable in that Gonna have that, need to have that, need to have that. And these are already parented. 
These ones I don't need, but I need them to keep the constraint for the ropes, because the ropes are going behind these, and we can't have constraints on, on uh, well, on everything. So we'll do like that. This thing I'll need for something else. Uh, this propeller I'm going to make into axis, so that part can't be printed. Here we go, something like that. No, sometimes you misclicked and you just parent it again. And that part. And it's too hard to walk on these lines, so I'm just adding those. All right, so we can walk here, 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 and you easily see where we can walk and not. This thing needs to be walkable and well, the rest of this is, it's not important actually. It's walkable enough. It's Gary's mod after all, and um, things doesn't have to be perfect, they just need to be like good enough. Um, and we want to save the lag if we can, and that's exactly what we're doing. So let's check down here, probably nothing there, no it's not. Now we only have the on top part here, and we need not you these areas right when is this little as a kind of limiter um, that can actually be parented okay and the rest of it can be and the roof I don't know man let's not parent the roof no. let's actually weld the roof I think I forgot to do that let's just check the weight on this thing 2000 I th may have thought about that okay so, multi parenting tool. We have now selected all the parts that should be parented, and this is a good idea why we did this save before. Because if we did, um, well, mess something up, we can reverse it by redoing it. But now we take everything of this and we just right click this thing. Now I left click this thing to make it not selected, because of course the base plate should not be selected. All of the, um, like the thrusters and the um, well, hover controllers should not be selected. So we need to unselect these. And that's why we put them in a position where we can easily see them and that should be all. And now we can right click this thing. All right, so what we do now is we just take this thing, and we paste it here. And now we, well, now we can dare to unfreeze it. And we can see that these hoverballs ain't strong enough. That's for sure. Oh lords. And we have some no collide issues. And we'll need to no collide these um, around with each other too. So let's do that. Right. This has to be no collided with this. And this with this, and this with this, and uh, possibly this has to be no collided with this, maybe not. Right, this with this, 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 this with this. We're just gonna do this for a little while. Alright, so I did some no colliding stuff there, and the reason why we want the other parts to be heavy is that if they are not um, they're going to be kind of bendy and we might accidentally like walk into them and stuff like that thrusters also get more strong the heavier they are by the way but um, these hover um, well plates are not strong enough so I'm increasing the weight to 5000 and we're going to check if that is a is a good good level so we're going to area copy this thing, save it, and just spawn it, so we can see if um, if it's good. Then, okay, we have unfrozen it. We can just move it to over here. Ooh, look. And now we can pump down here. We can see this is walkable, walkable, walkable. This thing got a little bit weird. I wonder why. Okay. No, it didn't. 
we can walk on this piece here. A little bit of lag when trying to walk stuff is... Uh, it's kind of usual. I think no problems, no? We can go here, okay, good. We'll see, we, we get some sparks if we have some kind of like compatibility or like vibration issues. Like, Gary's mod will always be a little bit wonky. But we can clearly see if we have a, a problem or not. But it seems to be, it seems to be all right. Okay, so uh, this up top here, we can walk around here. We want to fall out. Perfect. We can sit in this chair. Nice. And we can move around. It's pretty, it's very slow, of course, but that's also how it's designed to be because the maps are very small and we want it to be we want this thing to slowly be able to go from one like side to the other uh, in just some kind of peaceful, cool, slow and heavy movement like this. Steady and heavy. That's how I like hoverball ships. Steady, heavy, slow. In any case, um, that's basically um, that. Now I just need to set up the spinners here. So. Um, I'll be back with you when I've uh, managed to finish this little design here um, to the best of my ability, like how I would have wanted it. And then I'm just going to ask Ijin if everything is good or if we want something else. Uh, but I'll be back with you soon. All right, there we go. So we have completed this little structure here and we're gonna zoom out and I'll see you what that means. So um, we of course have the little blades here, they are rotating when we're going forwards and it just passes by calmly. And uh, we have some smoke effect too, just to provide for the uh, forward uh, thrust. I kind of want to imagine that um, the old like sophisticated part of this um, airship has some kind of very awesome just flying capability and it was able to go forward and backwards before without using propellers but because that part broke we added like proper propellers and they are powered by uh, some kind of uh, diesel engine magnetic thing that just you know rotates some magnetic fields and make these things rotate something like that pretty cool and that goes, makes it go forward. So um, then we have there, I also have a little fun. I have this thing. <laughs> it's kind of a little oil, oil spill Easter egg thing. And I've added this little turret as well. So this turret, it's, um, it is an anti-air turret that's supposed to shoot down incoming like um, if we have some air pirates popping up close to us. Uh, so it's not designed to aim downwards, it's only designed to aim upwards into the sky like this. And then just some ammunition comes out and we kind of have some extra spark sparks going on there too. So, pretty nice. So we have that little cannon there because that was one of the thing that um, Ijin wanted us to add. So I hope that's uh, actually, you know, something decent there. Just a little defensive front cannon there for incoming air pirates or something like that to scare them away. And uh, we can run around here and um, yeah. We have a little dock part here, of course. Um, and these fins are, of course, for steering as well. And here we have a little, well, computer center. And that is basically that. So we just spawned this in here and a little bit more cozy map. It's one of the D-Rip maps. 
And here we can see it's uh, sitting here nice and well. And if we ho if we click forward arrow once, it will actually go forward and it will continue going forward. And we can hold the side arrows, left and right arrow to steer this thing. We can also tap the forward arrow to make it, well, stop going forward. And we can tap the backwards arrow to make it start going backwards. And the direction of these um, propellers change too. Then we have page up and page down will make it drop or go up in altitude. And for this turret, we have, well, six and four. And then we have eight and five. And then we have zero. That will fire. So basically the uh, basically arrow keys, but on the numpad. And there we basically have it. So here is the little airship and uh, the lightning effect on this map is weird, but I am pretty happy with the design of it. And hopefully um, Commander Ejin will be too. And again, Ejin, if you're watching this, as I think you are, um, thanks a lot for being a patron of ours. And I do hope you enjoy this build. And if not, it should be corrected before you see this video. So it's not um, valid. But in any case, thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you next time, people. This is Jimodism, and we're signing out.